some things were really great quality, whereas others were less than impressive. So is DHgate legit? Hello, this is Lindsay from Half Coles Will Travel. I share style and shopping content as well as travel guides. And for today's video, I'm talking about DHgate and whether or not this website is legit. DHgate is a rather sketchy looking online marketplace that's based in Beijing, China. And the retailers it features on its platform are also based in China. This means that DHgate does not actually make any of the products it sells on its website. It's just a place for retailers to list their products and then DHgate gets a cut of the sale for hosting it on their website. It's similar to Timu, Amazon, or Alibaba in this sense. The site features everything from incredibly cheap clothing to electronics to home decor and more. For the purpose of this review though, I'm only focusing on their shoes, dresses, and handbags. So DHgate is a site that's gaining popularity now, mainly thanks to TikTok. Influencers on TikTok love DHgate's dupes and replica designer products. I mean, we're talking designer bags that are less than $50. But when something sounds too good to be true, is it? This video is my honest review of DHgate and whether or not I think it lives up to the hype. So I placed a $358 order with DHgate for the purpose of this video. I ordered shoes, sandals, handbags, dresses, and even a wedding dress. I'll review each item briefly and then chat about the shipping time and return policy with DHgate and whether or not I recommend shopping on this site. First up is this wedding dress. It cost me $26.65 and had free shipping. Now, do I need a wedding dress? No, but there's a lot of interest about DHgate's cheap wedding dresses on social media, so I wanted to see what the deal was for myself and for this review. And oh dear, this dress does not look anything like its photo. <laughs> I mean, I had really low expectations for a roughly $26 wedding dress, but... This is still shockingly bad. I'm not sure if I'd even want to wear this dress for Halloween. It's oof, not good. <laughs> I do also realize that this dress is too large on me, but I was in between sizes on the DHgate size chart and I was worried I wouldn't be able to stuff myself into the medium, so I sized up to the large. Now, the material on this dress is really scratchy. It's so uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure if I wore it for an entire night, I'd break out in a rash. I'm also not convinced that it wouldn't just unravel or rip by the end of the night either. Now, several reviews of this dress in 2019 did mention these issues that I had, that the item didn't really match the photo, the fabric was really scratchy. It just wasn't the greatest purchase. However, all the recent reviews of this dress were really positive. So I decided to take a chance and maybe I would get a good dress for $26. Final verdict on this dress though, is that it is a no for me. $26 for a wedding dress was indeed too good to be true. I would steer clear of inexpensive wedding dresses on DHgate. Next up is a pair of Birkenstock Arizona dupes. Now I love Birkenstocks. They are super comfy and high quality. However, they also come with high price tags. Most of the time these sandals are well over $100. However, the dupes that are featured in this video cost $42 total with shipping. Now let's see how they compare to the real thing. Now these sandals aren't identical. The real pair is definitely a higher quality and uses real leather. I'm not convinced that this fake pair is real leather, even though that's what it's marketed as. That said, for nearly $100 less than the original, these dupes are pretty darn nice. Now these DHgate sandals fit the same as my real pair of Birkenstocks. So the sizing was accurate for these. So my final verdict on these Birkenstock dupes is that, I mean, the coloring is a little bit off from the website image, but overall, these are good quality sandals that I'm really excited to wear this summer. This was a good purchase. So I've started a bit of a designer handbag collection and I was really curious to see how DHgate's dupes compared to my real ones. The first bag I received was this YSL Lou camera bag with a black mark, AKA logo. As you'll see in this picture, the logo is blurred out. This is because these sellers can get sued for using photos of the logo in their product listing. So they blur it out. I had just looked at the reviews of this item and could tell that the handbags that people were receiving did indeed have a logo. And as you can see, it does have a logo on it. So now this 
do cost me $24.23 and shipping was $11. The real version of this handbag costs $1,690. Now this dupe bag does come with a dust cover and it was packaged really well. For a handbag that cost a total of $35, I would say it's pretty decent looking and seems to be pretty good quality wise. However, this handbag smells so bad. It has such a weird chemical smell to it. It's I've had it for almost two months now. I've been trying to actively air it out for about a month now and it still has a faint oof, weird smell to it. I don't know. Ick. Don't like it. <laughs> now that we've covered that, let's compare the stoop handbag to the real one just for the sake of curiosity. Anyone familiar with YSL handbags would be able to spot the differences between the real one and the fake bag. This also doesn't really feel like real leather and it has kind of a shiny plasticky look to it in real life. However, I do think this is a pretty decent quality handbag for the price. If you just like the style of YSL bags but don't want to shell out thousands of dollars, this could be a good alternative. So my verdict on this handbag is, I mean, it doesn't hold a candle to the real one in terms of quality, but this only costs $35. For $35, this is a decent quality handbag that I am actually quite pleased with this purchase. Now this next handbag that I ordered is a dupe for the Bottega Veneta mini sardine bag. I had actually received the real version of this handbag for part of a campaign that I was working on a few months ago. I really like this little handbag, love it. However, the price for this handbag is $3,100. That's wild <laughs> for such a little handbag. Whereas this dupe handbag from DHgate cost $91.61 and it had free shipping. Now that price is not nearly as dirt cheap as some of the items on DHgate, but it's still significantly cheaper than the real handbag's price tag. So once again, this dupe bag came with its own dust cover and is in great condition. However, once again, this bag has a horrible chemical smell. Not quite as bad as the fake YSL bag, but it's still pretty bad. And now for curiosity, let's just see how it compares to its real version. Now there are some differences between these two bags. Most noticeably is the gold sardine handle. I don't know if you can see, but the real version of this handbag has like imperfections on it. Each one is unique, they're handmade. So they're gonna have those marks on it. Whereas the fake handbag is totally smooth. There's also a noticeable weight difference in these bags. The real bag, um, the handle is really heavy on it and the fake handbag is actually pretty light. Another difference between the real handbag and the fake one is that the fake one actually has this nifty little zipper compartment in it. So you have a spot to secure your credit card and keys. Whereas the real one is wide open. Look at this, it has just the one compartment. This is it, like if you drop this, everything goes flying. Totally speaking from experience here, it's really annoying. So actually the fake handbag has a way better design just thanks to that little zipper pouch inside. So my verdict on the Bottega Veneta mini sardine bag. This is a really good dupe. Like, I mean, sure. Somebody who's familiar with the bags would be able to tell the differences. However, I think you'd have a guessing for a little while. Like this, this is a good dupe. And I do realize too that despite it being less expensive than the real version, it's still not exactly cheap. Like this is a $91 handbag. For me, it's worth it because I do, I really like this bag. I use it a lot. And $3,100 for the real thing is just wild for me. So this dupe bag is a winner. So this dress is actually what sparked my interest in DHgate. I was looking for a used version of Zimmerman's high tide midi dress. Now this dress retails for $2,000. I found it new on Poshmark for $450. That seemed a little too good to be true. 
So what I did was I did a reverse image search of the dress and I ended up finding this one on DHgate that was the exact same photo. And this one cost $65.19 with free shipping. Fortunately, that seller has been removed from Poshmark since I placed this order. I couldn't find a size chart for this dress, so I took a gamble and just ordered my normal size medium and hoped for the best. Fortunately, this dress is true to size and it fits like a glove. The dress looks pretty close to the website photo too. It's an absolutely stunning print that also looks really close to its original inspiration. However, the dress doesn't have any belt loops, so the belt it comes with just slides down and looks kind of weird. The material is also a weird scratchy polyester type material. I mean, it's not as bad as the wedding dress, but it's still not great. Now, I don't have the real version of this dress, but I do have a similar Zimmerman dress we can compare it to. The dress with long sleeves is the real Zimmerman dress. Of course, these dresses have a huge price difference, so it's not fair to judge the DHK dress based on this. I was just curious how good the replica was. So my verdict on this Zimmerman dupe midi dress, the dress is both a hit and a miss for me. I mean, the print on this dress is beautiful. I love it. But this material is such a weird, uncomfortable, scratchy feeling that I don't foresee myself wearing this dress a lot. It also just doesn't look that impressive in person. And I can't return this dress, so I'm stuck with it. So I don't really recommend this dress personally. If you're looking for cute feminine midi dresses that are roughly the same price, I would check elsewhere. I mean, there's sites like Cheekwish has a pretty decent return policy and they have an Amazon storefront that is even easier for returns. I would go that route versus ordering from DHgate. Next, we have some fake Uggs. These slippers cost me $29.82 and $19 for shipping, which is kind of gross, but that is still significantly cheaper than the real version of these Ugg slippers, which these retail for $109. Now I had ordered my normal size eight for these, but I should have sized up to a nine. I have wide feet and this is an issue I run into frequently with most shoe brands. Um, these are just so narrow that I can't get my feet all the way into them and my heels just hang off the end, which is a shame because these are super nice slippers. They're really soft and the inside is really fuzzy. I like these a lot. I just wish they fit. So the verdict on my Ugg slippers is, again, these are both a hit and a mess. They're great quality. I really like them, but I'm stuck with them and they don't fit me. I would have been better off ordering dupe pairs like this off of Amazon where I could actually return them if I didn't end up liking them or they don't fit me. Now, fake Louis Vuitton bags are arguably what put DHgate on the map. They have a ton of fake Louis Vuitton bags on their website and TikTok seems to be absolutely in love with them. This never full dupe that I ordered cost $25.99 but the shipping cost $17. Now that is again a lot for shipping, but the total price is still significantly cheaper than the real Neverfull, which retails for $2,000. Now this handbag is definitely better quality than I was expecting for a bag at this price point. The stitching isn't too bad and the outer material doesn't look too bad in person either. Now will anyone mistake it for a real one? Absolutely not but it costs less than $50 with shipping. The straps on this handbag though are pretty thin. If you have this bag like packed full, it's not gonna be very comfortable to carry thanks to these really thin straps. However, I like that it came with a nice dust cover and a matching pouch. So verdict on the Snuffer Full Dupe. I think this handbag looks better in person than it does in the website photo. It seems to be decent quality too. I mean, but it's not so good of quality that someone's going to mistake it for the real thing. That said though, I think this would be a fine choice for a never full dupe. All right, we made it through all of the items that I ordered from DHgate. 
So now let's talk about DHgate shipping. Each item on DHgate has a different shipping time estimate. You can find this information for each item above the add to cart button. All of my orders came from different vendors. So each item came in a different package and was shipped using a different carrier from USPS to DHL to EMS. And I had opted for the economic standard shipping for my order. With this shipping method, the quickest I received a shipment to my address in Wisconsin, United States was 17 days after placing my order. In my experience, the longest it took to get an item was 24 days. Now some of the items shipped from United States addresses and some also shipped from China. This didn't really seem to affect the shipping time at all. Actually, I would say that almost all of my orders that came from China were quicker than the ones that came from the United States and it didn't really seem to affect the price either. This uh, Louis Vuitton dupe came from a United States address and it still had $19 shipping charge so it, it wasn't any cheaper. So you really have to pay attention to what these sellers are marking as their shipping fees because that can be almost expensive, more expensive sometimes than the items themselves. And now the DHgate return policy. DHgate does have a return policy but it's not quite like the return policies that you're used to with most online shopping sites. This policy is designed for you to return something and get a refund if one, you never actually received the item, or two, it looks absolutely nothing like the photo, or you just didn't even receive the same item that you ordered. What they call this is applying for a dispute. Now this wouldn't apply if you just don't like the item or if it doesn't fit unless the seller that you're buying from is very generous. From what I understand is you have to go back and forth with the seller regarding why you're rejecting your order from them. Once you reach an agreement, they'll either refund part of your order, refund all of it, and even if you do come to an agreement where they decide to refund everything, you might still end up paying for shipping back to China, which can get more expensive than the item itself. It sounds like a really complicated process that I just didn't want anything to do with. So for the most part, go into ordering from DHgate with the mindset that you are likely going to be stuck with whatever it is that you ordered, regardless of whether or not you like it or it fits you. Don't expect to be able to return it or exchange it like you would with Amazon. This is the reason that there are actually groups on Facebook for DHgate for buying and swapping items. So is DHgate legit? This is a bit tricky to answer. I mean, DHgate is legit in the sense that yes, I received everything that I ordered. DHgate is not a phishing scam. They're not going to take your credit card information and run. However, as you can see, the items vary wildly from seller to seller. Some things were really great quality, whereas others were less than impressive. And they have a very unclear return policy. You're likely going to be stuck with whatever it is that you order. Personally, I don't like gambling like this when I shop for things online. So I won't be shopping with THgate again in the future. I like to be able to easily return something if it doesn't work for me. However, if you see one of your favorite TikTokers recommending something and you're okay with the fact that you might be stuck with it, even if it doesn't fit you or you don't quite like it, then I'd say to go for it. However, this is just not a site that I am personally going to be wasting any more money on. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more shopping content like this.